Hey you guys, Will Lewis here and stay up we've got another match day vlog for you guys. Sunday morning, Super Sunday, it is Manchester United versus Liverpool, arguably the best game in English football. A lot up for grabs today for both Liverpool and United. United, we need to climb higher in the table. Chelsea won 7-0 at home yesterday to Norwich. They're running away with it so far. So we need, we need to climb up the table. We need to get as many points as we can. But today's going to be a tough one. Can we keep out Mo Salah? Let's go and find out. Come on, United. Right, guys, we're in the car. On the way to the traffic centre. Uh, on to Old Trafford. But, uh, yeah, we're here in this scenario again, talking about the game. Should I just not talk? Yeah. If I just do like nods, yeah, and go like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Massive, biggest game in English football. One of the biggest in the world. Biggest rivalry. It's come around too quickly. Biggest yeah. hatreds. Yeah. Biggest history. Yeah. You name it. Um, it's the big one. Um, it's it's a tough one to call this one. Um, off the back of escape, best apology against Atalanta, we can't afford to to do these things that we did against Atalanta against Liverpool. Yeah. We're a much better yeah. side. Uh, this is going to be the best. Whereas Liverpool will be out of sight at half time, so it's important that we uh, we get off on the right foot and not just dissolve after 15 minutes. Because I know what happens. We play well 10 15 minutes, then wonder what's going on. Plan A will go out the window, whatever plan A is. And then all of a sudden, we're passing it around. Bruno's just running. Bruno plays, obviously, Bruno's been injured. Uh, we'll pass it around, and nobody will know what's going on. And then before you know it, we've given the goal away, which is pretty much what United do. Um, Chelsea running away with it at the minute, yeah. So it's a four point gap between us and Liverpool. Chelsea's goal difference is probably about 16 or something like that. So this is a concern. We're only like eight, nine games into the season. Yeah. We're talking about Chelsea running away with the, the league, which is, uh, you know, it's fair play to them. Chelsea yeah, have play got to a, the Chelsea have uh, got a, a, a good setup with a very, very well organised manager. So, uh, what, am I gonna, what, what can we expect with a prediction today? Mm. I've got no idea, really. We have, really we have, no idea. Uh, right. it depends. We have, we have a good home record against Liverpool, and we have a good home record genuinely against the big teams. Will that impact today? We've played teams like Man City and Liverpool at home before, who are in this position where they're quite high up in the league, and we've done well. You remember the last game before COVID, beat yeah. City. Two 0 We did the double against City that yeah, season. So but you know, a lot, a, lot, a lot's changed since then. A lot's changed. Uh, but, Liverpool you know. have obviously, you know, went through last last season's blip with injuries and Van Van Dijk. Mm. Uh, they're back stronger. Salah's on fire. That's true. Uh, Ronaldo's probably not at that stage at the minute. You're saying that Liverpool will score, and I, and I, and I do believe. I mean, you predicted that. I know it's a different style, but you predicted that we flash Villa, and Villa only went away. With yeah, one I do believe that without Varane, we're, we're very suspect so, at the back. So. I have to rush it. Optimistic. One uh, Anyway, two two. One one. one, one. And yeah. also, may I oh. may I quickly add? You can switch off now. May I quickly add that all these predictions I've said, I said that we'll always concede one goal. I've said that for the past five games. If you look back, the past five games kiss of death. we've conceded one goal. So we are going to concede today. You probably what? Well, you will be watching this after the game, um, and I've probably cursed it, but I've cursed the past five games. So. Oh, 
nice. With a new name, actually. Right, guys, it's time to tuck in. Delicious. It's Jose Mourinho and Dan James again. Right guys, here's today's starting 11. So we've got De Gea, Lindelof, Maguire, who's captain, Ronaldo, Rashford, Greenwood, Fred, Fernandez, Shaw, Wambisaka, McTominay. On the bench, we've got Henderson, Bay, Dallo, Lingard, Matic, Pogba, Van der Beek, Cavani, and Sancho. Come on, United. Guys, this is where the Liverpool fans are going in there. This is their head. Guys, here's today's program. Let's have a look back at the history of this fixture.
There's no words no to words describe that. Just That's all I have to say. So it's, it's, this is the uh, this is the challenge that we had. We played some mediocre teams, and, uh, and this is the first proper game that we've had this season, which just, just shows where we are. It's all right coming back two 0 against Atalanta, playing Everton, we played Villa, you know, we played Southampton, Wolves. Villarreal, you name it, but when you're playing top teams, you get hammered by mistakes, four mistakes. I mean, we're sat on the other side here, so it's difficult to uh, analyse it, but from where we're standing, that's just four goals given away. It exposes what we are. If this ends up 8-0, do I, do I, I don't give it really damn anymore. No, I don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like I'd be having lots of uh, drinks and lots of drugs and it would be close to the same when I come back and win 5-4. So, yeah, the only way, the only way to move is, I don't know, what, what, what can we do? What,
the picture of Paul Popper's challenge against um, well, Mabby Cater. Alright Bob, what do you think of today's performance? I prefer to lick the microphone instead. Or do you see Mo Salah celebrating? Yeah? Oh good. Okay. He refuses to answer any questions today.